Hey everybody, welcome to Chubbox Reviews. I'm Stan with my lovely wife Tanya here Hi. again. And we're doing a reaction. <laughs> no, we're not doing a reaction. Alright, let's go again. <laughs> Okay, ready. Hey everybody, welcome to Childbox Reviews. I'm Stan with my lovely wife Tanya here again and we're reviewing Black Widow. This is going to be a kind of a, not spoilers, but then spoilers uh, re uh, review. Sort of, yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll start do, off. With, yeah, no spoilers to, to begin with, but we'll yeah. let you know when we go into spoilers so you yep. can stop if you haven't seen it. Yeah, we got this uh, from Event Cinemas. Yay. Very cool. But um, yeah, all in all, I like this. I thought it was fine. Like, um the the main thing that problem i had with this it's five years a bit late mm. i would have loved to have seen this because it takes place after civil war and before um infinity war yeah so i was pretty pleased with how they handled it but at the same time i was just like a little bit oh god this would have been really good if it just followed like you know before black panther um you know straight after doctor strange or, or something but that was like one of the complaints i had <laughs> mainly of seeing this it took so long to come out but yeah so um Florence and, Pugh, uh pew did a really good job yeah she was in fighting with my family um yeah. the rocks uh movie production and she was freaking amazing i love her like you know mm. just in general as like funny character great performer like you know just really <laughs> kind of cool and um, you Super see her, cool. see her. Yeah, there I'm just like looking at her, like oh. And she's very, very um, adorable. Yeah, just I, I don't know. She's it's a very cute sort of relationship that they have with her mm. and um, ScarJo. Like there's chemistry there that really works. Um, I know that Rachel Wise, yeah, uh, she's in this, but I kind of wish there was a little bit more of her in this yeah um yeah and same thing goes for uh i don't know if it's william hurt or whatever whoever plays general ross um oh yeah yeah, yeah. i i kind of wish there was more of him sort of in this as well but overall i think the story kind of works it just kind of i mean i thought it was really good as well like yeah. there was it was based around black widow and the black widow program so of course there's a lot of females but they do it so well that it's not slapping you in the face you know throwing their gender at you it's just a beautiful spy espionage story of you know anyone could have been in these roles anybody and it would have worked and i also think like the problem too is that um we've seen so much of these big mcu movies and stuff mm. for this to kind of like coming out now the problem is i keep trying to push aside everything else we've seen before it because we already know yeah. where scarjo's you know romanoff ends up yeah you don't feel the sense of urgency thinking that will she won't she make it yeah because you already know the end game the other characters <laughs> you do because you don't know which yeah, ones are going to make true. it out and which ones are going to you know yeah Bought the farm kind of thing but like <laughs> so we'll get into spoilers now Spoiler. um i i think like yeah you can go see it in the cinemas and have yeah, fun and I, stuff i but would recommend it in the cinemas just for the atmosphere alone i mean so if you can't obviously then do it safely and from home but i i thought it was a really good experience just going back to the cinema finally after so long uh, and watching this on the big screen, mm -hmm. uh, I just had a really good time with it. So we'll rock one of the first spoilers and stuff in it. Um, something I really liked, yeah. they've still got little hints and little nods to fans and stuff. When they're in that big car chase, when they're on the bike, uh, yes, they land on the blue car. And the dude jumps out and goes, are you okay? And she just jumps up and goes, fantastic. And it says in Russian, so it says it across the screen. Mm. And I'm like, that's just a little nod to, you know, the Fantastic Four's coming. It's the same thing they did in Civil War when they were doing the trigger words for Bucky. Mm. And when they said longing and then they said homecoming. But then a couple of months after Civil War came out, they announced the name of the Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man Homecoming. Mm. So it was a little nod to like, hey, we got you fans. Like we got rewatchable stuff. So this was sort of cool to see them land on that car and it just happened to be blue amongst all these other black mm. SUVs and no, stuff. And good. you're just like kind of, oh, all right. So they're sort of putting in fan service there. <laughs> So then um, I think 
the whole sort of like we got to take down the human traffickers kind of deal because they're kidnapping yeah these well, kids they're mind manipulating all these kids yeah to you know doing what they want what you know taking down establishments kind of like hydra i suppose in a way mm. where it's just you know sending in the winter soldier to take down you know all these establishments or whatnot mm-hmm. it's the same thing they're doing with the black widows but the issue that i had with this is at the end i would have really liked to have seen all those you know black widow girls with the other soldiers and stuff and other guards and stuff that were protecting that jerk off all of them just beating the crap and more or less carving a path for scarjo to go yeah, after him true. that, that would have been, been cool. that would have been cool but i still think it was like yeah it had to be focused on her mm. But I still sort of like, you know, when she smashes her face into that desk. <laughs> just over the nerve. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm waiting for her to just stagger back and just go, yeah, got you, while she freaking <laughs> passes out. My thing is, through the whole thing, I was wondering, does she have super serum? Because there was like a black widow that they were fighting who kind of essentially fell and you could see her broken leg. Like laying on the ground, and oh, no. Scarlet just like whooping. She's falling. She's jumping. It's like, how is she not hurt? But she's the super acrobatic. But even um, in the comics, she has the super serum. So I'm like, did they? But all right, because we're basing this off everything that we've seen before. She's been fighting in like you know Endgame and all these other things. Like, I think my favorite version of ScarJo's Black Widow is the winter soldier the second captain america movie Mm. and sort of uh civil war that's i think the russo brothers if they had directed this it would have been a lot more born identity less Mm. uh far-fetched kind of like you know fights and stuff but like that fight that they had like as sisters in the apartment that was cool that was really cool i thought like oh man this is going to be really cool kind of because they both don't know if they have mind manipulation and (laughs) and also on the bridge when she's taken on taskmaster i was like oh man someone can duplicate you that was something where i was like oh man this fight's going to be like super Mm -hmm. epic but it just it was over a lot quicker than what i was yeah it was over very very quick but i don't know if they're saving it like, you know, for a later, if there is a later. But I, I don't know if there's going to be a later. I really like Taskmaster in, like, comics and, like, even in the video games. Like, it's so cool. And they did a really good job at, you know, showcasing what they're, what is, what, what they're capable of, really. Yeah. So, so it was, I, I, mean, I want more. Yeah, it was, it was kind of just a fun thing. Like, I'm trying not to base this off oh my god we're back in the cinemas this Mm. is so cool this is fun to like actually be in the theaters again we got popcorn we got freaking ice cream we got chocolate Mm -hmm. like here we We go (laughs) but that's the thing when you got a crowd there and everyone's laughing the same way like you know that moment when um they've got her going why do you do that it's like do what that pose like what are you talking about you know when you flip your head back like someone's watching you like you're trying to be cool it's not cool (laughs) such a poser yeah just stuff like that i really found funny because like it's comedy that works yeah because you can just hear everyone in the theater laughing as well. I was like, yeah, that was, that was that pretty was cool. such a sister thing to say. And then, um, yeah, just the idea of, I want to give this an honest opinion, like, but at the same time, I'm trying to not get conflicted off, like, I could have seen anything in the theater and still been like, oh, my God, that was really cool. But I think I liked Ant-Man. I enjoyed Ant-Man the Wasp. I enjoyed Black Widow now. I loved, you know, Infinity War and mm. Endgame and The Winter Soldier and freaking the first and like Iron Man, the third Iron Man and, you know, the first Captain America. I like all those. I love like, the first Captain America. This was cool. I think this is really like a sister movie. Like, yeah, definitely. You like, you know, a, a brother or two sisters can go and see this and be like, hey, check it out, like mm. siblings and stuff. Um, Friends. Yeah, friends Besties. and stuff like they can go and check this out. But also too, if you like the MCU, you can see this. Yeah, anyone can really check this out. Yeah, but um, I can't think of anything else. Can you think? No, I mean I just really enjoyed the movie for what it was. It end credit scene. 
What do you think of that? I think Christine, I, I didn't really care. It was like, eh, it happened. It, it's setting up for her to go into the Hawkeye series. Yeah. And I was like, well, all right. I don't, I don't know if they're going to build up a, like, because she's already got, uh, what do you call, US agent under her Bellatino. recruitment and stuff. So I'm just thinking, like, yeah, she's um Yeah, she's got yeah, you pretty agent. much yeah, yeah, yeah. putting her own little Avengers team or calling them West Coast Avengers or who knows what they're gonna do. But all all overall and stuff, I think it's gonna be interesting to see where it goes now. But you know, time will tell and stuff. I'm trying not to burp too loud. <laughs> um but yeah, anything else you can think of? I can't think of anything. I really enjoyed the movie and I hope that you do too. And, um, yeah, let us know in the comments below what you think. And if you have seen it, um, let us know if you liked it yeah. and stuff. But, yeah. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. And thanks, thanks for watching, watching, guys. Bye. Bye.